name is Russ Sturgis. I'm a professional kayaker. Uh, I've been paddling for pretty much my whole life, and uh, this is what I do. My family owns and operates a kayak school in uh, Northern California called Otter Bar. So I didn't have a choice whether or not I was going to get into the sport. I was pretty much surrounded by it. Once I finally got out into the wilderness, I realized really what the sport was kind of all about. This last year we did the Congo River, which is the biggest rapids on earth. It's really tough to, to go on these trips and, and leading up to them, you're constantly thinking about what the outcome is going to be, like, are we going to go here and die? The Congo was a total experiment because we've never really paddled anything even close to that size. Literally, you'd be paddling and there's just a whirlpool could just open up right in front of you all of a sudden. There's very few people who make a sole living off of just paddling. I used to always see that as kind of a disadvantage. When I first started paddling, I just wanted to kayak, but I'm actually really thankful that it's forced me into these different arenas. I started producing kayaking films when I was 17. We kind of brought in a, a different vibe with the sport, you know, like really kind of heavy hip hop influence. What I'm working on at the moment is a two-year project with Red Bull Media House, trying to really create a, a kayak film that's gonna speak to the masses. I think kayaking has always been a little bit misunderstood by the public. You know, they think that if you, you flip over, you're going to be like stuck in this kayak. The whole sort of waterfall running revolution is really interesting for people to see. I mean, they can see somebody going over a waterfall and they can be amazed at that. You can't just be a kayaker, you've got to be a photographer, a filmmaker. It's everything all kind of in one, so, you know, I'm passionate about all of it and try to you know, fit it all together if I can.